Hi, my name is Matthew Proventure. I'm the Chief of Sports Surgery at Massachusetts General Hospital. And I'm here today to demonstrate arthroscopic anterior instability repair in a patient who sustained an anterior dislocation after a wrestling injury. This, uh, this surgery is performed arthroscopically, and this repair actually uses both knotless and knotted fixation to illustrate multiple principles of how to do both types of techniques. Uh, it, it's very important to meet the patient in the uh, holding room area and ensure that the operative limb is marked and that you clarify expectations and post-operative plan for the patient. We also ensure that we have all of the post-operative gear available such as sling and or ice machines or anything else that you may choose to use for the patient. The patient is brought back to the operating room, undergoes a general anesthetic. Uh, they may or may not have a interscaling block. As in this patient, this patient had a uh, interscaling block obtained by the anesthesia pain service here at our facility that was done under ultrasound guidance. After that is performed, they then come back to the operating room where they undergo a light general anesthetic. After the light general anesthetic is obtained and all the lines and are secured for the patient, we place the patient in the lateral decubitus position. As you can see here, we're using a, a bean bag and arm holder to help position the patient. The next step is to confirm our patient and our surgical timeout. Once this is done, we start with our diagnostic arthroscopy. And the steps you'll see here, we perform a very comprehensive arthroscopy looking at all of the structures in the shoulder, both from anterior and posterior. Following this, we then switch the arthroscope to the anterior superior portion.